Hi guys, welcome back. This is Micromus at MH Tutorials, and today we're going to do a redo of a video. I did a video on how to model a bed, and apparently the audio was out of sync, so we're going to retry that. Okay? So we're going to start off by creating the bed frame. So we're going to take a simple polygon cube, drag it out in the grid, and pull that up. Maybe something like that. Okay? Hit 5 for shaded mode. And let's set the translate values to zero. So it's nice and centered. Okay. Then we're going to right click, go to face, select the top face, edit mesh and extrude. Hit R, pull that in a little. Check that from our top view. Maybe tweak it a bit, something like so. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Extrude again. Hit W and pull that down. Not too much. Something like that. Alright. And that's our basic bed frame. Next, we're going to deal with the mattress. Okay. We're going to take another cube. Drag it out to roughly the shape of a uh, rectangle. Set those values to zero as well in the translate which will make it a bit easier for us to model and shape. Go back to our top view. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that out until we're close to the edge, not touching it. We're going to go to this view here. And let's move it up a little. And we want it to have a little bit more depth, so it's going to stick out on the top. So let's do that. Okay. So that's our basic bed frame with our mattress. Now, while we got this selected, we're going to go to our Polycube 2 tab, and we're going to increase subdivisions to 7. Let's do 3 in height and 7 in depth. Okay? Something like so. Now, while we've got that mattress selected, we're going to go to Edit Mesh and select... Where is it? There. Poke Face which will give us this effect here. All right? Cool. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the vertices on these cross sections here. So we're going to right click, go to vertex, take those, hit W, and push that down like that. Okay? But I need to do them all at once, of course. So I'm going to just I'll go to my top view. I think that's a bit quicker. I'll try to do this as fast as possible. So just bear with me for a second. Uh, let me see. I'm doing a little bit too much, apparently. These are all good. These. And these need to go out. Like I said, it's a bit tricky to see that. That's good. That's good. Let's just check from this angle. It's a bit better to see. They're good. They're good. There's one below my arrow there. That one. That one. It looks like I got all of them. All right. We're going to deselect that guy. Just a final check, okay? So we're going to hit W and we're going to push those down, which will give us something like that, okay? 
Now next, we're going to right click, go to object mode, select that, shift, right click, and smooth. Okay, looks like I forgot one in the middle here. So we're going to undo, and that's that one there. I'm going to push that one down as well. Okay, right click, object mode. Shift or right click, smooth. All right, that's our mattress. Okay, now next we are going to deal with the. Uh, darn it, looks like I still forgot one. I'm sorry, guys. Vertex, that one needs to go down a bit more, and that one needs to go down. All right. Hopefully now we got it. Object mode. Shift right click smooth. Yeah, okay. Pretty close. Alright, so now for the pillows. We're gonna create a polygon cube that roughly resembles the size of a pillow. We're gonna pull that up, we're gonna move it into position. Let's hit F, and let's check that out, see if that works size-wise, okay? If we had one there, and then one over there, that would work, okay. Now, this doesn't really look like a pillow, you would think, but we'll, uh, we'll fix that. Okay, in our subdivisions, in our attribute editor, we're going to go with 7 in the width, 4 in the height, and seven in the subdivision, okay, like that. Still doesn't look like a pillow, right? Okay, we've got our object selected. We're gonna go up to our end dynamics menu, and mesh, and create end cloth. So we did that, we're gonna go to fields, we're gonna select gravity, and in addition, we're gonna select our bed frame, our mattress, and we're gonna go up to and mesh and create passive collider. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna inflate this pillow here. And we made these two passive colliders so the pillow won't fall straight through the bed, okay? So now that we've got that, we are gonna go to our Nucleus tab. All right, we've got our gravity set up, that's good. We're gonna use a plane just in case later on, you know, the pillow or whatnot falls down. So we've got that. And now we are looking for our end cloth shape, and we're going to go to the pressure tab. All right? We're going to increase our animation frames to, let's say, 200. And let's do a pressure of 1. Okay? And now we're going to hit play, which will inflate our pillow. And now we're going to stop the animation at the point where we feel that the pillow looks okay. All right? So hit play. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, it's not bad. We can do a little bit less, so I'm gonna go back to frame one. Let's do 0 0.8 and give that a try. Bit better. I like it to be a bit fluffy, so let's see if we can approach that. 0 0.5. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So now that we feel okay, it looks it looks okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select it. We're gonna go up to Edit, Delete by Type and History. And this will allow us to move our pillow around. Even if we hit play, nothing will change at this point, okay? So we're gonna move this to the position that we're looking for, like that. And we're gonna shift right click and hit Smooth which will give us that shape, okay? Cool. Now, you don't want that to be exactly straight and so forth, so we're just gonna rotate it just a little bit. Hit Control D to duplicate it, and W to move it over, and we're gonna hit E to rotate that around so they don't, oops, wrong one, so they don't look exactly the same. Something like so. All right, cool. Okay, so now for the blanket. 
Now we want to have uh, a blanket look realistic, so we're going to take a polygon. Let's see if we can do a polygon plane. No, that would be too thin. We'll take a polygon cube. Okay. We're just going to give it a little bit of height. Not that much. Scale it down. Make it nice and thin. Okay. We're going to go to our top view. We're going to hit W. We're going to move that over. And we're going to hit R and we're going to extrude that out. So we've got some blanket at both ends. And we're going to hit W and move it down a little. So it's going to be a little bit on the pillows and it's going to fold around the edges. Okay. Now we're going to pull that up a little. Up there. Now this is critical. You need to have enough subdivisions. Otherwise it's not going to bend, if you know what I mean. Height, we'll leave that at 1. Okay. So it's quite a high poly. All right. So now that we've got that, we're going to go to our end dynamics menu to end mesh, create end cloth, reselect it. We're going to go to um, fields, select gravity, and we're going to select our two pillows, our mattress, and our bed frame. We're going to go to end mesh and create passive collider. Now. We're going to repeat the steps as before, but before we do that, we're going to select our blanket and we're going to look at some settings. All right. Now, there are a few that we need to deal with here. I'm just uh, looking for them. Uh, okay. So, the friction and the stickiness. Um, if this is too smooth, it's just going to slide off the bed. We don't want that. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to increase friction to let's say 0 0.5 and stickiness to 0 0.2 that should do the trick okay so we're at frame one and again we're going to hit play until we feel that right up position that looks good and then we're going to stop the animation okay so i hit play let's have that play out okay and stop now it looks all right. It's uh, falling over the bed. You got your little creases here. The pillows are showing up, so that looks fine. Okay. So again, edit, delete by type, history, which will allow us to now, you know, add some color, for example. So we'll just quickly do that. We'll take our bed frame, right click, assign new material. Let's do a Lambert. Now let's make that black. Okay. We'll take our mattress. Let's uh, right click, assign new material, Lambert, and let's make that white. We'll take our two pillows. We can maybe give that some color. Right click, assign new material, Lambert. Let's go with a kind of red, but not that red, okay? Let's bring that down a bit. Maybe something like so. And I accidentally selected my mattress, so we need to sh change that back. Okay. And for a blanket, uh, let's see what we had. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll right click, assign the material. Lambert and we'll take that red okay so that will give us something like this you can see the little indentations in the mattress through the blanket you can see the folds uh, we could have made this a bit wider what you can do for example is you can select that you can right click go to face Select these two rows, maybe not that one. I'm trying to get that little angle here. Let's retry that. Okay, 
So we've got that edge, right click, assign the material, Lambert, and white, which will give you something like that. Okay, as you can see, we need to tweak that a little bit. You got some uh, some color shining through here, so let's just uh, take that white out, just as an illustration. Okay, this is basically it. Um, so uh, yeah, I hope uh, this works for you. If you got any questions, let me know, and uh, if you would like to subscribe, that would be awesome. All right, thank you guys, and see you guys next time. Bye.